hello all welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert this uh, ADSL router into a WAN Wi-Fi router this ADSL routers are basically used with uh, connections like BSNL and MTNL uh, which is having uh, ports like this this is the router and this is having a port see you can see this is a DSL in input and these are the four LAN ports with which you can connect to any laptop PC and every Wi-Fi connected I'm sorry wired connected devices and this is basically a Wi-Fi one wireless things can connect to a Wi-Fi and use internet but the problem with this is uh, input is uh, this kind of thing this is a telephone jack kind of cable not a ethernet one so that now in this video what we are going to do is we have to separate this software using software only we are going to make this as a input and these three as output that means we are going to convert this port in LAN port into a WAN port so that you can plug in Ethernet cable from your internet provider into this port and you can connect your PC, laptop and any other wired devices using these three LAN ports and you can use your devices wirelessly as well with a Wi-Fi signal so before we going to start just to make sure you are following this perfectly I'm just going to show you hardware version of this router see this here is the hardware version and this is the firmware version IN 1.0 and obviously these are the serial number and MAC ID and this is a, a reset button we can use it at later of point of time just I'm informing you right now these are all things you know this is a wireless on off switch and this is a WPS button this is the power button and this is the power input now I'm going to connect this with my laptop using LAN port 1 via Ethernet cable to change the firmware of this router and the firmware download link is provided in description below you can download it from there without any delay let's get into this process now moving on to my laptop screen now I have connected my uh, router with a LAN cable and the LAN cable plugged into my laptop's LAN port like this I have connected router to laptop now what I am going to do is now I have opened the uh, dealing page just connected uh, using a uh, ethernet cable and I opened this page you can see the address as a uh, here 192.168.1.1 and you can see the version which is a uh, ME 1.00 is a software version and I, I have shown you already that the hardware version is C1 in my case now you have to go to management and there you have to go to update software page you have to keep this like this and now I'm going to show you the remaining process first you have to download that uh, file using this uh, link in the description below and then I have shown you this reset button before 
you have to click and hope this is inside so you can't accidentally you can't press this thing they set up like this you have to push it with a, some pen or something like this and you have to hold it for 10 seconds while holding it you can see here you can see that these lights are going to be off and this power light is going to turn into red color still holding the reset button now you can see this turns to, turns to red color now again you have to click on this update software button then this page changed just now some new text came you have to do like this because we are overriding software security so that it won't check for the image make sure that you download the image which i have provided and up choose that file here now i am inside this folder i have saved it here don't get panic by looking at the name this is the firmware made for that 2750u but the hardware used in this both models are same so we can use this thing to get the desired features now i have selected it sorry i have selected it and i'm clicking open and i'm clicking update software you can see here it's still red and it will take time as it is showing there it will take about two minutes to became normal see that page is getting uh, reloaded and this light turned into green color which is a normal color now it's in normal color now so i'm keeping it aside and uh, i'm going to see network change was detected it was showing now i'm going to open the same tab i'm going to close this old one i am going to open the same in the new tab now you can see that uh, firmware version and model number got changed it didn't ask for the login credentials as i already logged in but if if it prompts for you please enter one uh, admin admin as a login user id and password so you can come into this page and now the remaining part is configuring the router these are the main steps you have to follow